Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? I hope everyone is okay. Obviously, I am back with another reaction video. But before anything else, please follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos for a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, please check out the link above. Time for some shout outs. Shout out to its underscore Mac Arnel Celerio. Thank you for watching. Hello to its me fourth 17. Just want to say thank you for appreciating my honesty because unfortunately not everyone does. Hi to Neil Vincent Katapang. I truly value your support. Keep on watching. A big shout out to Gur23. I always look forward to your comments. Your appreciation makes me feel like what I'm doing is worth it. Like I'm not wasting my time. To Juvi Bakalso, hope everything is well with you. Thank you for the love. And to everyone who is explicitly showing me your love and support, especially down in the comment section. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys want a shout out in my next video, just tell me down below. Based on my research, this is actually a YouTube original entitled Pride, or people also know it as In the Name of Love and I had a chance to listen to it earlier. To tell you quite honestly, this is not a song that I would normally choose to listen to because I personally prefer ballads. But since some of my viewers have requested for it, here we are. So without further ado, let us check out Asia songbird Regine Velasquez and pop star royalty Sarah Hieronymus duet version of the song in the name of love, shown in Asap Natin To. Are you guys ready? Let's do this! Look at that breathtaking scenery! That's her house. I'd love to live there. Sarah sounds so different here. I don't think I've ever heard her like this before, but I like it. Also love the way she's enunciating the words. Very, very nice diction. Everything sounds very clear. During the start of her career, I remember people criticizing her for not having an original sound. That she oftentimes imitate the original artist of whatever song she's singing. I never faulted her for that, because she was practically a teenager and has yet to develop her own style. But over the years, she has proved them wrong by creating her own identity with her own sound. On the other hand, her capability to morph her sound, to change her voice, is also an advantage. She can now play with her voice to suit whatever song she is doing. By the way, she's doing very, very well with her mixed belts. One man caught on a barbed fence. One man he resist. One man washed. On an empty beach, one man betrayed with a kiss. Same goes for Regine. I don't think I've ever heard her like this before too. Very interesting. There's like a hint of alternative in her voice. How do I say this? Her tone sounds different, 
but it still has the same enchanting quality. The way she's delivering the lines, the verses, is so sultry and sexy. She's like a siren reeling me in with her voice. Just captivating. The slight rasp in her voice works incredibly well with this kind of song. Thumbs up to Regine. She's slaying it. Let's continue. They both sound so international here. I don't know how to explain this. I don't even know if international is the correct term, but they do sound like foreign artists, if you get what I mean. Moving on. Early morning, April 4, showering out in a Memphis sky. Wow, just listen to her strong belt. She's on fire. And I love how Regine, being like an older sister to Sarah, allowed her to shine in that part of the song. Just goes to show her generosity as an artist. It's all about give and take. Very nice. There you go, Regine casually slipping in her belted F5 to add even more spice to their already explosive duet. So far, I'm liking their rendition. Moving on. Whoa, I don't even know who belted out that piercing F5 here. Was it Sarah or Regine? I think it's Sarah. Please let me know down in the comment section because I may be wrong. But I really think it's Sarah. Wow. I actually enjoyed this. No regrets watching this video. In fact, if you ask me, the song could have been longer. No offense to all the YouTube fans out there, but I kinda prefer this version more than the original one. I'm not sure if it is because they sang it better in my opinion, or, or wait, was I just so pleasantly surprised by the way they sounded? As I've said, it is my first time to hear these tones from these two wonderful artists. So I find it very, very refreshing. Something new to my ears. Okay, why did I like their rendition? Let's not even talk about their star power because that's already a given. I loved it because they gave us edge, they gave us sultry, they gave us angst. As a bonus, they even threw in their signature belts. All these, when mixed together, is just a perfect concoction for the ears. As much as I'd like to say something negative about this performance, I don't see any. Sorry to disappoint you. How about you guys? 
Which did you like better? The original YouTube version or this duet version of Regine Velasquez and Sarah Geronimo? Let me know down in the comment section. Again, reminding everyone to please, please, please keep your comments respectful. We can choose to agree or disagree without slashing each other's throats. Let us respect each other's points of view. In this world we live in, we need to spread more love, not hate. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Tube. Stay safe and healthy and happy everyone. Take care.